Hey, and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, I want to start a little series on how to get um, 3D assets into Unreal Engine and what it takes to um, create some some of these uh, assets yourself. Um, I only spent about one week trying to um, investigate and figure out what is needed to create some, for example, some rocks here. Um, and uh, I had to, to read out on a lot of stuff. So uh, this reflects my knowledge after one week. Um, so if you're looking for some really nice, good answers, then this is probably not the video for you. Um, but if you are at the beginning, beginner situation as me and um, then I hope you can pick up some trip tips and tricks here anyway uh, because then we are probably at the same stage or so, something similar so anyway uh, as I mentioned I want to try and make a rock really and for that I am going to be using uh, 3d studio max and uh, ZBrush um, so to begin with I'm going to open up ZBrush which I have here Mm -hmm. right and uh, I'm gonna go to the light box and just select um, I don't know what these are actually um, and hide the, the grid to begin with and turn off symmetry and then I'm gonna start uh, to just um, sculpt a little bit on this um, sphere here um, so Let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm not going to spend too much time um, on this rock here, so it's not going to be uh, how to make uh, uh, the nicest rock in the world tutorial, not at all. So I'm just going to sketch out some um, some random stuff here and um, show you some techniques that I uh, came across in my my um, research um, period here. Whoopsies. And I guess a lot of this stuff you can do in a in a regular <clears throat> um, um, polygon modeling uh, program like 3D Studio Max uh, is itself. Um, but I wanted to check out what ZBrush is all about. I uh, haven't uh, looked too much into uh, sculpting programs, um, so. Um, yeah, I was just kind of curious what uh, what they do these programs here. Okay, so I have something. It does not look like a rock uh, at this point. Um, hopefully, it will. Uh, a move tool. Not, not looking like a rock really um, oh yeah and now press ctrl D to um, subdivide here so I subdivided up to five times now um, and let's see And let's see, what about the move again? I'm gonna take a smaller brush here. Whoops, not the move tool. Oh, I'll flatten. Um, what about? So I'm not really um, sure what all these tools do yet because I just installed uh, ZBrush. Uh, nope, not that one. Uh, this one called something with this one. Uh, no, nope, not that one. Anyway, 
I mainly just used clay build up and clay tubes and flatten and move. That's the main tools I used so far. Uh, so I still have to figure out what uh, uh, how to do uh, how to work with all these tools here. So I have no idea how really to to get this effect. So I'm get, uh, I'm looking for. But I wanted to create some kind of um, like a little inset here. Uh, anyway, this is probably something I should look into. Um, Anyway, so I have a basic rock formation shape um, at this point. Um, I don't know if this looks like a rock. It looks like a piece of rubber. Um, but the cool thing is, if you um, there's something called alphas um, in ZBrush. So if you search for ZBrush alpha and uh, for example rock um, you get some uh, hits here and what you're gonna be looking for is uh, something looking like a rock uh, black and white uh, stuff something like this maybe and maybe also this one uh, well that's a piece of wood actually whoops um, let's see Maybe this one, that might work. Um, so anyway, um, you want to spend a little time uh, looking around. This one actually looks, hmm. that could be some rock of some type. So um, what you want to do is save this um, on your computer somewhere. I have a, ZBrush Alpha here, and then you can go up to this Alpha and import that. Um, yeah, and for example, pick that one, and that's going to put it here. So now, what uh, this means is that when you now paint, um, you will pa be painting uh, with an Alpha. And right now it doesn't really look that interesting. It does, maybe you could create something interesting out of this. Um, but right now it looks more like skin actually. Um, so I'm just gonna undo that. Um, we have something called spray. And that's gonna create, like spray all this stuff out here. It still looks a little bit too much like skin. So I'm actually gonna un undo that and try a different one. So I uh, suggest you play around with this. Let's take this one. And that's a bit too much intensity. Um, well, still a little bit too much, I think. Um, but let's just, for the sake of this demonstration, just um, fill this um, piece of stone up with uh, some of this texture here or detail um, so you might be wondering why why uh, why I do this and because um, if you I don't know how you show the vertex count for this but I can already tell just by looking at it and uh, the amount that my computer is lagging currently um, that it's a ridiculous amount of uh, polygons we have on the screen right now um, instead of just spraying them we can also drag and and hold uh, and just set that up a little bit you I we have a lot of stuff going on already uh, but you can position your alpha detail here a little bit more precise so let me just uh, try this one Mm. Actually, let's go ahead and smooth some of this out. Um, 
Oops. Now you can see you can quite easily create this is completely probably the beginner way of doing things here i have no idea um, but you can see you can pretty easily create some stuff here i suggest you take a look at uh, some existing tutorials on zbrush because uh, as you can see <laughs> i'm not that uh, you don't want to watch too much uh, what I'm doing because I just um, yeah I just click randomly around right now oh that was actually a nice one let me go ahead and use that one ah that was the one I used before whoops a little bit too much I'm gonna undo some of that um, Okay, so I'm just going to spend a little time filling out this stone here with um, a lot of detail. Well, okay, something like that. It does sort of look like a rock or something. Or like a meteor or something <laughs> I don't know anyway so what we want to do now is to get this into um, 3d max and uh, I'm first going to show you how to export this and then we're going to continue in the next video and see what we can do inside uh, 3d studio max um, so let's see if I can remember how I did this um, export yeah you export in OBJ format so let me find my I think I have it my models and I'm gonna create a new rock here green and call this one okay um, I'm just gonna call this CB I think so I can tell that is coming from ZBrush. So that's um, if I'm satisfied with this, this is what I need to do inside ZBrush. And I'm going to continue inside uh, 3D Studio Max and I'm going to import it uh, by going to the import and find my models, my rock. And I think I left everything. Well, that's going to be a little issue. I can already um, tell you. All right. So here we have the rock uh, in 3D Studio Max. Um, and as you can see the from the statistics here, we have 5 million, 5.5 million polygons and 2.8 million vertices uh, and it's making my computer lag quite a bit at this point so this is obviously not what you want to put inside uh, on your engine and there's another issue uh, which is the scale as you can see it's tiny as, as hell um, I haven't figured out what to do with the with the scale here yet uh, I haven't I have read up a little bit on how people uh, approach this but I haven't figured out the exact way and have had time to experiment with it. Uh, so for now I'm just gonna because I don't care about the, um, um, the exact size of this so for, for this video I'm just gonna scale it up um, whoopsies something probably something like this okay um, yeah 
that looks pretty okay i think um and obviously you want to spend a lot of more time to make your um, your rock look better because right now it looks like uh like shit really <laughs> Uh, but it's, this is just to demonstrate uh, the steps you want to go through. So anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, we're going to continue in the next and uh, keep working with this. So thank you for watching and see you in the next. Bye bye.